Hi there. This video is going to look at division with fractions. This first example here where we need to share seven pizzas between five people. If we were to write that, it would look like this. So seven divided by five. So let's have a look at this visually because it's always good to see um, what this actually looks like with a physical um, example. When we're dealing with fractions, we generally want to talk about um, sharing and um, an example is really good to show sharing with fractions. So I've got seven pizzas uh, shared between five people. If I take one of those pizzas and share that one pizza amongst five people, then each person would get one fifth. If I go ahead and share all the pizzas amongst five people, you can see that each pizza will be divided into fifths, and then each person would get one fifth of the seven pizzas. So once we've divided up our seven pizzas, we can see that um, each person Each person gets how many fifths? They get seven fifths. Another way of looking at it is if we look at um, dividing off our whole pizzas. So I can see that at least each person is going to get one whole pizza. And then if I look at my final two pizzas, um, each person will get one fifth of each of those two pizzas. So another way of looking at it is that each person would get one whole pizza and two fifths of the final two pizzas. So we can see here that these two are equivalent. Uh, this here is called a mixed number. So it contains a whole number part and a fractional part. And then this is called an improper fraction, whereby we see the numerator is larger than the denominator. So improper fraction. Okay, um, if we just go back and have a look at 7 divided by 5, another way of writing that is 7 over 5, or 7 fifths. So that division bar there is the same as dividing. Okay, the second um, example. Let's have a look at this chocolate bar example. We've got five chocolate bars um, and three people. So we need to divide five chocolate bars amongst three people. Um, at least each person is going to get one whole chocolate bar. So each person will get one whole chocolate bar, then our last two chocolate bars need to be divided amongst the three people. So if I divide each chocolate bar into thirds, then I can see that each person in these three people, with these three people, each person is going to get two thirds of these final two chocolate bars. So each person will end up with one and two thirds of a chocolate bar. Now if we take these numbers here, 5 and 3, so we know we're taking 5 and we're dividing by 3, so the equivalence of that would be 5 over 3 or 5 thirds. So these two are equivalent, this is the improper fraction, this is the mixed number. Okay, this example here um, we've got 2 divided by a third, or 1 third. So, so another way of saying this is how many thirds, how many thirds are there in two holes? So two pizzas need to work out how many thirds, how many 1 thirds are there in these two pizzas. If I split up these two pizzas into thirds, oops,
So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I actually have 6 thirds here. So I'm finding out how many thirds there are in two whole pizzas. So 2 divided by 1 third equals 6. So there are 6 thirds in 2. Okay, this next example. How many quarters are there in three whole pizzas? So three divided by a quarter is the same as asking how many quarters are there in three. So I've got three whole pizzas here. I'm going to, I'm going to split each of those pizzas into quarters. So just like that. The question is how many quarters in three? I can see that there are 12 quarters. So 3 divided by 1 quarter is equal to 12. So you might notice here um, the number strategy in that if, we, if the divisor is a unit fraction, that is with the numerator being 1, then all we need to do is multiply that whole number, the 2, um, the number being divided, uh, multiply that by the denominator. So 2 times 3 gives me 6. That's a unit fraction here. If we look at this example here, 3 times 4 is 12, as long as that's a unit fraction. Um, but it's always good to draw a diagram. Okay, moving on. Oops. Now we're going to look at when the fraction is not a unit fraction. So how many three quarters are there in four whole blocks of chocolate? How many three quarters are there? So I'm dealing with quarters by just looking at that denominator there. So um, at least I need to divide my chocolate bars into quarters. So if I just divide my chocolate bars into quarters, Then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to shade out three quarter sections. Okay, so if I just shade in, first of all, there is three quarters. Now, just shade in another three quarters using different color. One, two, three. There's another three quarter section. Here's another three quarter section. So I'm just shading in. Um, three quarter sections and then I'm going to count up how many of them there are. So I can see I've got one, two, three, four, five. I know that at least I've got five three quarter sections in four blocks of chocolate and I'm left with this quarter here. So I'm finding out um, how many three quarters are there in four? So far there are five and I've got this part left over so you need to ask yourself what fraction of a three quarter section is this part here? So this part here what fraction is it of if we were looking at say this three quarter section here? So this black part here is um, it is one third of that three quarter section so you can see that this black part is the same size as say that section there um, but it's actually one third of that three quarter section so my answer is five and one third there are five three quarters and four plus one third of a three quarter section in four. So the answer is five and one third. Um, so let's change this into an improper fraction. Uh, so five times three is 15 plus one is 16. So I have 16 thirds and I'm just gonna rewrite the sum here and then come back to it. So four divided by three quarters equal to 16 thirds. Okay, I'll just leave that for now and have a look at this final example. 
How many two-thirds are there in five whole apple pies? So the question is five divided by two-thirds. How many two-thirds are there in five? So I'm going to split my uh, apple pies up into thirds and then shade off two-thirds sections at a time. So apple pies divided up into thirds. Okay, so I want to shade in two-thirds. So one, two. So there's one two-third section. Okay, shade in another one, two. Shade in another one, two. Um, oops. So one, two. One, two thirds, one, two, one, two. Okay, so at the end we've got one, so one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven, two thirds so far. And then we've got this section here. So this section here. And we're asking ourselves, oops, sorry about that. So we're asking, what fraction of two thirds is this part here? So we can see that this part here is actually one half of one half of two thirds. So our answer is seven and a half. So this means um, we're actually counting up how many two thirds there are in five. We've worked out that there are seven of them and one half. So one half of two thirds. So five divided by two-thirds is equal to seven and a half. So I'm going to change that into an improper fraction. So five divided by two-thirds is equal to fifteen halves. So now let's look at um, the relationship in our numbers. So if we're looking at those two examples there, I can see that if I multiply 4, so the whole number, by the denominator, I get 16. And then 16 over 3, um, that 3 comes from the uh, numerator in the fraction. you look at the final example, 5 times 3 gives me 15. And then our numerator in our fraction ends up here.